Shalom and welcome with Bindernowski. Today something, I would say, abstract. It was not my plan to make this video, but so it is. So I heard about that sort of the test run, emergency alert, or whatever you name it, on the 4th of October. I think there's something coming again on another day, but uh, I heard some sort of warning. Some people mentioned you better switch off the phone because by the 5G it will trigger blah, blah, blah in the people who are got pinned into the arm or into the nose. Uh, or whatever it will trigger, you get zombies. Or maybe it will become like a... Maybe it will become like a message for the millions of uh, illegals to ask them if they already received their home and their new car when they are op uh, welcome with open arms. Uh, however, I'm, I'm 5,000 miles away from America here in this second world country, I think, where here most people didn't comply 2020 with the lockdowns and the face diapers and only a very, very few took the arm dart. And when I look around, I see the amount of cell towers. It might be five, maybe maximum 10% of the amount that I saw in the smart city where I escaped from. You see the difference in between 4 and 5G or other, other Gs uh, to 5G in the size and the shape. And the 5G, you know, brand new, shiny. Uh, I have anyway no working phone, so doesn't matter to me anyway. However, Adonai put it on my heart. He really urged me to say something about this emergency. Emergency alert. Hmm. Whatever it is, I had really no clue what to mention. What, what, what shall I say, I'm being so far away from the US? So I asked Yeshua, do you have anything? I, I would not, I would just tell blah, blah. And I'm, I'm really not interested in that. But then he, he still urged me and he said, he spoke to me. So and these are the words. Have you forgotten the power of my blood? Where is your trust? Where is your faith? Who is scary? You from the government or the government from you? Do you not know the power of prayer anymore? Some claim the devil is the prince of the air in this world, and so the airwaves are his. Do you, but do you not know that he can do nothing without my permission? If you had prayed and repented, and did what I told you to do long ago. Things would not have become so rotten. But as it is the time for these things to happen, I will let it happen. Yet for those who are mine, read Psalm 91 and believe that this is my word and the truth of my word. Did I not speak also through Ishiyahu? Chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and you will condemn every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of Adonai's servants. Their vindication is from me. It is a declaration of Adonai. You'd have a faith. This is my declaration for those who love me and keep my commandments. Yes, it is. Let them switch on everything to full power. The only thing it will accomplish is that their power plants might get a burnout syndrome. But for you, my children, plead my blood upon yourself and upon those who you love. This alert test might affect those who worship the beast and those who don't fear me, but my faithful ones and the righteous who are under the shelter of my wings and covered with my blood, it shall not touch. No evil airwaves can penetrate through my blood. If you need to repent, do it now. If you need to bring your house in order, don't wait till tomorrow. 
There is a time for everything, but the time to pray and to seek my face is always. It is endless. It is eternal. You shall never forget what I have done at the cross if you humble yourself before me. If I am in you and you believe and trust it is this is true, you can say or sing, He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Namely the devil, but also his servants. As I emphasize also the who, who wants to reign the world. Corruption above corruption is all they are. Their father is the one who came to steal, kill and destroy. Their empire is gone. It's just a matter of time until you will see them no more. Soon the time will come when I will say, like Moshe spoke to the children of Israel, don't be afraid, stand still and see the salvation of Yutei Wafhei, which he will perform for you today. You have seen Pharaoh and the Egyptians today, but you will never see them again. Ever. I can turn around their tests and their boosting of wicked waves into my waves, if I want. But if you don't stop to stare constantly at the beast, you will find yourself one day in his arms and between his fangs. Turn from your sin and sit at my feet and listen to me. My Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. All truth means all and not just partially. But you need to stay away from worldly propaganda as much as possible. Yes, you can't avoid completely to see it because it is everywhere on billboards, while shopping, often at work, in schools, in gas stations, along the roads, everywhere. Okay, so far it was what Yeshua said. I don't have to add much more or anything I would say. What can I add from him, to add to him? I don't add to the Bible. I don't remove anything. I may not understand everything, but I don't want to remove or add anything. It's up to you whom you fear, dear you Tevafen, that you will gain wisdom and knowledge and know what to do in these last days and or final hour of this world, final, final seconds. Uh, I would say, personally, in my opinion, Do what you are gifted to do and called to do, whether you have evangelist, teacher, preacher, shepherd, prophet, intercessor, apostle, engineer, or just maybe a gardener, mother, housewife. You all can pray for the lost, that many will find the way, the truth and eternal life, which is in Yeshua, through Yeshua the way to the Father in heaven. Okay, and I pray you are well and be blessed and the grace of Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.